Hello YouTube, it's your friendly Gravitian up again with another Steven Universe Vlog, and today's episode is Onion Friend, but before we even get into today's episode, I'd like to say how, um, how much I appreciate the tremendous amount of uh, views that yesterday's Keystone Motel got overnight, um, over a thousand, uh, over one thousand, almost two thousand actually, two thousand views in under twenty-four hours. That's not a lot, that's not a lot for, you know, a lot of big channels, but for Gruppet Studios, that is unheard of, that is the most I've ever gotten in 24 hours. Um, so thank you very, very much for everybody who watched it and loved it. However, there were, um, as many dislikes on that video as there were likes last time I checked. I would love to know what you guys didn't like about, uh, the, and I got a cool email just then. Uh, anyway, I'd love to know what you guys didn't like about the vlog. I mean, I don't, I didn't really criticize the episode at all, really. Um, so, if there was anything wrong with it, please, just, if you, if there's something wrong, just, just let me know. So, uh, anyway, today's Onion Friend episode, I'll tell you now, Cry for Help, if Cry for Help was, um, was a Louie-ish episode in terms of how the story is structured, then this is just, I have no idea how it explained this episode, and I love it. So, um, in this episode, for, uh, Steven's making a bagel sandwich, and for some reason, Onion's in his house, mm, so, uh, and so Onion steals some chips and runs away, and Steven goes to chase him, and when he runs into Onion's house, he finds that someone's been painting Amethyst like one of their French girls, so when he tells Amethyst to come over and see, it turns out that Veronica from Story for Steven, which we saw doing things in the car with Marty, uh, or Marty, is it? Yeah, Marty, um, during the uh, Story for Steven episode, um, has grown up now, and it is confirmed that she is the mother of um, Sour Cream and Onion, and most likely the, uh, well, and is the wife of Yellowtail and the ex-wife of Marty. Um, there's, so, you know, there's some divorce drama going on, some stuff we also really don't see too much in kid shows. Um, you know, more pushing the bounds, Steven Universe, where's the roof? I'm, I'm cool, I'm hip, I swear, I swear. Um, so anyway, uh, it turns out that Amethyst and Veronica, Veronica, it's not Veronica, is it? Mm. It turns out that uh, Amethyst and Onion's mom back in the day were really, really close friends. Um, she was uh, Amethyst, since she can shapeshift into anything, was apparently a big inspiration on Onion's mom's art. And to this day, she still draw. She still paints Amethyst, so it's not as creepy as it seemed in the beginning of the episode. Um, and so they bond. You know, they go and they're having a lot of fun. It's the whole, you know, party girls see each other after. A thousand years and not seeing each other. Okay, it wasn't a thousand years. Um, you know the, you know you know the you know the two people that are like the you know the two moms or at least I do know the two moms like the you know I wouldn't say the drinky moms but like the margarita moms they're hanging out all the time they're like oh my god you it's like oh we have to do this we have to do this together sometime there's there's always like a mom like that you know. Um, so Amethyst and Onion's mom are that, uh, little friendship bundle, uh, and so while they're having a fun time, Steven goes off to see Onion, um, and, cause Sour Cream's busy DJing, he hangs out with Onion instead, and Onion has a pen's labyrinth in his room, um, he has a little, he has a little mouse that he catches, and he tells Steven to feed it to his pet snake. Steven doesn't want to, so he, well, it, we find out in, later in the episode that it doesn't feed it to the snake, he feeds it to himself, but anyway, and then we get a scene that I'm really on the fence about, <laughs> and you know exactly what I'm talking about. We don't see it, but we hear it incredibly, incredibly visually, uh, no, and not visually, why would that? Okay, we see, uh, we hear it incredibly, very very audible, very distinctive. 
of Anya's mom giving birth to him. Um, we hear, like, at, when it first starts off, it's a little creepy, because you hear Anya's mom, like, push, push, Marty, push, and that, that, for a dirty-minded teenager like me, that leaves a little bit open to the imagination. Um, I wouldn't say it's better that that was just Onion's mom giving birth, because it's still super creepy. Um, but Onion apparently shows Steven a video of him being born, so Steven freaks out. That goes, it, it's just, it's just there to, like, add the weirdness of Onion. Like, there's literally no reason for that to be in there. It's just so weird. I have no idea how that goes past the censors at Cartoon Network. Um, your guess is as good as mine. I'm guessing a bribe, probably. Um, so, it also turns out that behind a, uh, door poster, just, just a poster of a door, you know, the door, it controls time and space. All that once was and all that will be. The door can see into your mind. The door can see into your soul. Nah, I'm just kidding. Um, he has, <laughs> that's a funny reference if you got it. He has a little vent or a little tunnel that goes into somewhere, but Steven's freaked out by this. He's like, I ain't, I ain't. Screw you guys, I'm going home. So he um, goes downstairs to tell Amethyst it's time to leave, but it turns out that Amethyst is having a pretty heartfelt talk with Onion's mom about all the drama going on in the temple right now. Um, apparently Garnet has never been this mad before in Amethyst's opinion. Um, you know, if she was mad enough to defuse and her sentient beings that make her up, I guess, uh, got so mad at each other, then it's, yeah, it's pretty serious. So, um, you know, Viridia, they, t I, not Viridia, because if I say Viridia or Veronica or, you know, something like that, you guys are just going to yell at me in the comments. So I'm going to say Onion's mom. So Onion's mom, uh, you know, they talk, they say, if you ever need to talk to me, you know, I'm here if you need to talk, um, and all that, all that nice stuff. So Steven sees how, uh, much this means to Amethyst. So he decides not to, you know, tell Amethyst, all right, let's go home. So he goes back upstairs to go into the little tunnel with Onion, and it turns out that inside of the little tunnel, well, uh, that's a good question. What is inside the little tunnel? Uh, Onion has a room of him uh, as a, a poster, as like a Stanley Kubrick space baby, but he also has a little uh, treasure chest full of the guys that we see in Onion Trade, um, and gals now are apparently another thing they have, um, and Onion gives Steven one of his, uh, one of the, I wouldn't say rarest, but, you know, just a gal that Steven's very happy to have, and Steven's very thankful. After that, uh, they just kind of go downstairs, Steven and Amethyst leave, uh, they say if you ever want to come to the temple sometime, you know, it, it would be cool, you could hang out, and Steven says bye, and Onion opens his mouth, and the mouse was inside the entire time. And Steven gets creeped out. And don't hate me, please. Please don't hate me for saying this. Because I said this in Cry for Help, and a lot of people got mad at me. This is a great... This is a... Okay. I have nothing against three-act uh, structures, stories, beginning, middles, and ends. That's how a story is made. You can't make a story without it. Case in point here. But this isn't a story. This is a series of events happening. Like, this is an episode of Louis, you know, something like that. Events happen. There's no real rhyme or reason to some of the things happening. It's just following these people through their everyday lives and learning more about them through that. I mean, yeah, you learn about, you learn a lot about a character uh, through the struggles they go through, say, in Steven Universe's case, fighting monsters or bad guys or, all, you know, all kinds of crazy things like that. But just following the characters and seeing them act, you know, just like normal people or their everyday lives, you know, don't put them in extreme situations. Put them in a play date with their friends or, you know, eating dinner with some guys they haven't seen in a long time. That that gives an, an, an nothing against, you know, 3X structures episodes, which are always great, you know. But that just, that also really gives a needed layer of depth to some of the characters sometimes. There's no plot of this episode, nothing, there's no, like, beginning, middle, or end of this episode, pretty much. It's just, they go to dinner, you know, they talk, Onion has this horrible assortment of 
torture things in his room pretty much and that just happens they don't like you know there's no there's no big monster hiding in his house i mean there is there does seem to be like build up to what's in onions Stanley Kubrick space baby room um but you know in the end it's just you know resolved as just a little toy box pretty much it's a very confusing episode onions a very weird character and a lot of people are saying that onion himself is a gem in disguise case in point he uh he doesn't have any ears, which doesn't make any sense because Amethyst has ears, but whatever. Um, I would, I support that theory a little bit. There are some pretty, uh, there's some pretty good things to back it up. But, uh, this episode is, I think it's just build up for, uh, either, you know, just the relationship of, uh, Onion and Steven, or just to see how Amethyst's take on the whole Sardonyx thing is doing, um, because she's... A character we haven't really focused on that much this week besides her uh, song and cry for help so really this is a very very well-made episode in the sense of nothing really happens and it just rolls with that and it's very nice I mean it's a very nice episode the voice actor for Onion's mom is spectacular I don't know who it is but she does a great job um, backgrounds the art everything's nice it's just it's just a really really good episode so I will see you guys later Thank you for watching. And what did you think of the episode? Tell me below. Hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button with your forehead. Chica chica.